a town with two persons, the editor and the postmaster, its population. From the New York Tribune, January 7, 1900, page 16. From the Abilene, Kansas, Reflector. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. I had an experience once in running a newspaper which has never been duplicated by any other man in the world, said C. H. Pattison. For three months I ran a weekly paper in a town with two inhabitants, the postmaster and myself. It was in Congress, Colorado. That was a boom mining town in 1883, and miners flocked in there by the hundreds on account of a strike. Claims were gobbled up like hotcakes. Under the mining law, after $500 worth of work is done on a claim, it is necessary to insert a legal notice in a newspaper of general circulation for a period of three months. My father held an office in San Juan County, and while out visiting him, I saw an opportunity to lease a newspaper plant and make a lot of money running legal notices. I did so. For several months, I did a land office business. It was a thriving little town. The business of the town enabled the postmaster to make about $1,500 a year. A few months before there was to be another readjustment of the postmaster's salary, things began to drag at Congress. The mines were not panning out well. There was a strike made at Telluride, and all of the miners picked up and went to that place. They were followed by the merchants, saloon men, gamblers, dance hall people, and all. Within a week, there was no one left there but the postmaster, James Edwards, and myself. Edwards did not care to give up his post office as long as it paid so well. He was from Ohio. I was tied up with a lot of legal publications. I was certain to get my money for the notices as soon as they had run the required length of time, so I could not leave. We had everything our own way. I could help him run his post office, and he would help me write hot stuff, set it up, and pull the lever on an old Washington hand press. The post office business was confined almost wholly to handling the circulation of my paper, the Red Mountain Pilot, about 50 copies. The day that the legal notices last appeared, I told Edwards that I was going to pull up stakes and leave. His big salary ran another month, and he wanted me to stay, offering to divide up, but that was no inducement. When he found that I was determined to leave, he said, I'll lock up the post office and go, too. He turned the key in the door of the post office, and I locked the door of the newspaper office, and we both locked out of town. End of A Town with Two Persons Recorded by Craig Campbell